Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, this is the day you guys have been waiting for. My updated for trade, for trade, not for sale, for trade video. Um, it's been about four months since I, my last one, and you know I'm happy. I'm finally gonna uh, try to get rid of some of these cards. So um, before we begin, um, I want to talk about my new shipping policy. I'm not sure if you guys know about it, but I did make a video. Um, a few months back talking about you know if you guys are going to make a trade with me I am gonna to have to ask you guys to send first you know I've made a ton of trades here on YouTube and every single time I send out there's been no problems whatsoever except one time where I shipped out to Nate Likes Pie and someone stole his mail from his mailbox but you know that wasn't that wasn't my fault at all that wasn't his fault you know it just happened that these little these punks I you know these low life scumbags wanted to steal mail from other people's mailboxes and that was messed up so that wasn't any either of our faults but but uh, aside from that every time I have shipped out there has never ever been a problem my mail gets out to the other guy in about uh, two to four days that's how fast I ship my stuff out um, and sometimes occasionally you know it might take maybe five days but that's really really rare that it happens now when people ship to me it usually takes between seven to ten days, sometimes longer, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. So after that, I told myself, forget it. If you guys are going to make a trade with me, I'm I'm going to have to ask you to send first. Nothing against you guys, you know. Some of you guys are great uh, YouTubers out there. Some of you guys are trusted, you know. But this is for everybody, you know. I'm, I'm I recently made a deal with my buddy Greg. You guys know him, Greg Kenya for a one one five and Frog Bungle seven seven seven. You know, Nate likes pie. Those are all great guys. Uh, 2000 talents, all great guys. But you know what? They have to. Sh they have to ship to me first. So I you know I, I politely asked them. They agreed to it. So so far, no one's complained. Everybody's been happy with it. It's been working for everybody. It's been working for me. It's been working for the other person. Um, them shipping first. And those are great YouTubers. Uh, YouTubers, by the way, you guys should give them a sub. So if you guys have a problem with shipping first, please, please. Discontinue watching this video because if you're not willing to ship first, then I don't think we're able to get a deal done. Because I mean, I, I'm just I'm just a little tired that I have to wait weeks, you know, from for my package to come in when my stuff gets out to the other person in, in less than a week. So I mean, I mean I'm not, I'm not trying to blame anyone here. It could be because the the post office over there is lagging. They take a long time. The mailmen are lazy. Um, it could be because San Francisco, the city I live in, is such a huge city that the processing takes a while or because you know maybe the mailmen here in my area are lazy I'm not sure what it is but in order for everything to run smoothly I I prefer that you guys ship first you know and again nothing against you I, I know you guys are all great youtubers but you know it's this is how it's gonna be for my new shipping policy you know I I would appreciate it if you guys supported it or uh, respected it so um, so it is if you guys if you guys are making a trade with me I am gonna ask you to send first so just be prepared and um, you know, don't be surprised if I ask. And so, if you don't feel comfortable shipping first, then it's it's all good. You know, there's plenty plenty of other trade partners out there on YouTube. I'm sure you guys can you can uh, find other trades out there, other guys who are willing to you know come to terms with whatever you you want to come to terms with shipping at the same time or having the other person ship. It doesn't matter. But you know, if you're making a trade with me, I'm gonna ask you to uh, to send first. So sorry about that. Uh, just something I wanted to talk about. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have for trade and uh, you know what I'm looking for. I'm technically looking for Niners. You guys know I'm a huge Niners fan. I'm looking to add into my Niners PC some more. And maybe if you guys have any Hall of Famers, I might be looking into that. But 80% I'm looking into Niners. 20% I'm looking into Hall of Famers. So um, let's go ahead and, uh, and get what... Oh, and keep in mind, guys, I don't PC the Ravens or Torrey Smith or Marcel Darius anymore. So uh, maybe for those of you guys who who are save, trying to save up cards for me, like Tory Smith and all that, I'm, I don't PC them anymore. I'm actually trying to move those cards out so I can collect Niners. So that's my main focus. That's my home team. So I want to go ahead and collect those. So we're going to start off uh, low end to mid end to high end, uh, you know, or I'm a, you know, a, around there. So uh, first off, I have some just some low end stuff right here. First off is a uh, Stanley Havili. It's a rookie card. This is. 283 out of 299. Um, let's see where I can put that. Okay, put it over here. And then I have a Colt McCoy parallel. This is 6 out of 25. 
I have a Jimmy Clausen. This is a graded rookie card, uh, BGS 9.5. You guys must, have, you guys probably saw this in my uh, videos when I was breaking that one box. And here is a J Color, a graded rookie. This is a nine. And then we're gonna move on to uh, Inception Parallels right here. So I have a Roddy White Blue Parallel. This is a six out of two fifty two. Ray Lewis uh, was 46 out of two, 252. D'Angelo uh, Williams. And all the blues are out of 252. Steve Johnson. Antonio Brown. Steven Jackson. Marshawn Lynch. And we have a green Tony Gonzalez, 62 out of 75. And the last parallel is a Gronk uh, Ruby Red, 41 out of 50. And that one actually books pretty well. I mean, I saw a bunch of those go for $10 on, on eBay, surprisingly. Okay, so uh, up next we have a Ricky Williams Manufactured uh, All Pro Performers Patch. These are really, really nice looking uh, patches, by the way. Uh, Clint Portis Manufactured. All upper deck team, I'm assuming. And then we have a uh, Rex Grossman, Rookie Innovations, Manufactured Patch. Alright, now on to uh, some of the mid, some of the mid end to high end stuff. Okay, let me see if I can grab the lot here. Okay, here we have a Joe Adams on card rookie autograph, and these are all on card. The next few I'm, I'm going to show you are all on card, by the way. Uh, here is a Ryan Broyles, TJ Graham, Chris Gibbons, and this one might be a little bit harder to get off me because I am a, a Stephen Hill fan, and I did want the Niners to trap them, so uh, here it is. Out of 150, Stephen Hill. It's uh, Jerry is right, out of 50. And up next we have a uh, TJ Graham jumble jersey. This is numbered out of 169. A Chris Givens, and this is a uh, Chris Givens uh, three color patch, five breaks out of 210. Oh my! Just, oh, actually I got some stuff mixed up. Okay. Uh, Russell Wilson jumble jersey. This is numbered out of 50. A David Wilson jumble jersey out of 165, and a Michael Floyd jumble jersey out of 75. And then now I'm supposed to show you the Chris Givens uh, patch. It's a pretty nice looking patch, by the way. And then we have a uh, Dwayne Allen. This is a two color patch, 67 out of 75. Uh, Davier Posey, two color jumble patch autograph, and a Michael Egney, three color jumble patch uh, autograph. Uh, that was it for the Inception stuff. So up next we have a, uh, yep, I'm finally trying to get rid of it. One of my booklets. This one's a Michael Ashore out of, uh, Earth is numbering, it's a uh, 399 uh 306 out of 399 and here it is Michael Ashore autograph it's on the card and as you can see it's uh four colors you got one two three four five six breaks and uh for this booklet I'm actually trying to get a Niners booklet in return I'm trying to do a booklet for booklet kind of trade for this so uh if any of you guys out there have one of those Kendall Hunters or um, Colin Kaepernick's you know, like uh, out of 399 or something, you know, just to make it fair. And I'm actually looking for one of those. Um, yeah, just I just want to get a, a Niners booklet. I have the the running backs booklet with Frank Gore in it, but I don't have like a pure Niners booklet, kind of like this one's a Lions one. So I'm trying to trying to look for a booklet for bullet kind of deal. Now, some stuff um, I'm trying to get rid of that I originally had in my PC. 
Uh, first off, here we have a Chris Cooley. It's a three-color jumble patch, and this is a 36 out of 50. And then I have a Tori Smith sophomore autograph from Sage Hit. Very nice, very nice autograph. And then we have a Tori Smith it's a letter patch autograph, three colors. I actually got this from Kabe winning 95, and the Tori Smith I got from Card Trader 111. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this updated, up, <laughs> updated, updated for trade video. Um, again, I'm looking for Niners 80% of the time, and 20% of the time I'm looking for Hall of Famers. So um, mainly Niners. Uh, if you guys, if you guys want to make a deal, and you guys say you only have like one, one cheap, simple Niners jersey cards, I'm willing to look at your other stuff to see if we can match up uh, an equal deal or you know something of, uh, equivalent to what you want but again mainly looking for Niners partially looking for Hall of Famers uh, thank you guys for watching this is all I have right now that I decided that I want for trade so uh, you guys just let me know and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting a lot of PMs because every time I put up these videos I get like 50 and 50 every day so so if I don't get back to you uh, uh, on time, I don't get back to you right away. It's because I'm, um, I'll be busy. And keep in mind, I'm working still. I'm working every day still. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, be patient with me. <laughs> Give me a little break here. Thanks a lot.